So another trick, hopefully, to make you more productive is to modify your toolbars. Not only your toolbars, but also your heads-up display. Tools that you, that your go-to tools that you're tired of searching through. Um, one example is like fillets. Trying to find chamfer, you have to look under fillets. Well, what if I want to make chamfer its own tool? So you can do this in each tab. And again, there might be a better way to do this, but this is the way that I know. I'm going to go to my commands. I think this is the biggest problem, just finding the command that you want to use. Again, if it's one that you're using over and over again and you're tired of like searching through the index or doing a quick search for it, I think this is pretty helpful. So if I go to my Features tab, like the Dome tool, there's a couple projects that the, I find the Dome tool very convenient. Instead of going through Insert, Features, Dome, and using it once, I want this tool to exist where I have Shell, where I have Draft and Rib, as an example. All I want to do is drag and drop that into this section. So let's pick another one. Um, <clears throat> Lofted cut's already there, lofted base. Again, I don't know which one you want to use. I don't want to use that. I'm trying to think of one that I would put here. Uh, delete face would be a good one. Which one's that under? Delete face is a pretty commonly used one. See, I told you the problem's going to be trying to find it. Delete face, delete face. All right, so I've added a couple. Let's say you don't use wrap. Just pull it off. You're not necessarily dropping it in here. I could find wrap again, and I could put it back in here. But these are ones that I would go to, I would say, pretty consistently. The measure tool. I'm always looking to check my measurements. And instead of changing tabs to the evaluate tab, I can start my own column out here. So once you have these in here, like the chamfer tool, sorry, I did say the chamfer tool. I want to make my own. I'm going to take the chamfer tool and I'm just going to add a separate tool in here so I don't have to keep going under fillets. Um, circular pattern is a good one. It's a linear pattern. Circular pattern. Now you have these, you can rearrange these. If I want rib to be last and I want draft to be in front of it, I can change the order on which these take place. Next, I could make a separate grouping. I can control where this grouping line goes by moving things in or out of that grouping. So if I want to bring my measure tool into this grouping, I can. I can change the, where the text is located. Text below. That's, again, personal preference. But I'm only controlling what's in this group. Depending on how you like it. I like the text beside. I like it more compact. So I could take these ones like extruded cut and revolve cut and set them up like boss and sweep. So I could do whole wizard and I could do revolve cut in a stack. I could move extruded cut next to extrude, which is one that I show my upper level classes pretty often. So you can group them together. You can add them. You can remove them. I mean, the possibilities are endless is how do you use the software to make it more user-friendly for yourself. I'm just giving options. So let's say I take this and I text beside. Oh, I turn the icon off. That's actually one I don't like. It's turning the text off. Well, I'll move chamfer over and I'll move. Yeah, that's good enough. Now let's make a new grouping. So I'll slide these back in here. 
So I've really come through and modified the uh, toolbars. I'll take chamfer out, or sorry, I want linear, sorry, I want fillet separate from chamfer. Now I have two separate tools. Okay, my cutting tools, my hole wizard. Hole wizard is pretty common. We'll put that over there. So here's the majority of my cutting tools. Here's my forming tools. And let's just say I start a new group. Extruding cut, common. Creating material, removing material. And you can organize these however you want. And that is totally up to you. Just hope this helps. Oh, shoot, sorry. I said about the heads-up display. Measure tool, normal two, they're pretty common. Since I'm already in this customized window, I can add tools to the heads-up display. And one that I use very often is normal two and isometric. So all I have to do is drag and drop these into the heads-up display. I can change their order. Even after I have it placed, I want to move it to the left, to the right, in between. You can move these wherever you want. If there's tools you don't use, like what's this, previous view. Honestly, I don't ever use this. I can just pull it out of this upper toolbar and get rid of it to minimize what is on my screen. So I've had, actually the measure tool I think is a default now, but let's do it anyway. That is under, I just had it up there. Again, I'm trying to find this, the worst part. You're probably, why are you, I don't know where it's at. Because I do this once and I don't touch it again. I modify it to make it work for me and then I don't touch it. So under tools, the measurement tool, I go to tool for myself. I want top center of the screen. Isometric, I just said. Standard views. Just hover over and find out which one it is. I know there's a keyboard command. Or let's say isometric is a pretty common one for me. I modified the heads up display. And I modified these toolbars. You can do the same thing in Sketch. If you're looking for Sketch tools, like I want, let's say, a separate center rectangle tool instead of having to pull the menu down. I can pull center rectangle and add it. I'm thinking of other ones that I would suggest. I don't really have any off the top of my head. But customize this, make it work for you. And this is just my piece of advice. Thanks.